today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the NECA Toys Heroes of the Storm, the Betrayer, Illidan. Recommended for ages 14 and up. It does have a choking hazard. Small parts, not for children under three years of age. This is the second figure that Spot picked up for the Heroes of the Storm figure releases. Licensed a, a licensed Blizzard product. Spin around the back of the package. We've already had a look at Nova. And the read-up for the Betrayer Illidan says, Illidan Storm Rage, the original demon hunter, betrayed his people by creating a new well of eternity after the demonic invasion of Azeroth. After 10,000 years of imprisonment, he was freed by tyrant Whisper Wind against his own brother, Malfurion Storm Rage's wishes. Now, Illidan uh, lords over the realm of Outland, slaughtering unsuitably prepared heroes who venture into his domain. As mentioned, the other figure available is Nova. Coming figures, though, are Stitches, Arthas, and Teriel. Teriel. Uh, of course, to check out more from the folks over at NECA Toys, you can go to www.necaonline.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up, but when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Betrayer, Illidan. There's more heady way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Much like when we had a look at Nova, the first thing you have to do with Illidan is take his hair piece and you need to peg it into the top. I haven't done this yet. This is the first time and it can be a little problematic, a little, just a little more difficult than anything else to get the hair in. But in place, you've got something that looks like this. I, again, I could see why it was not packaged with the hair included or at least already a, a, attached, because I could see it being a, just a real pain to get this out of the card without damaging the hair. So, smart idea to have it as a separate piece. It will take a little finagling, of course, to get the hair just right so it's not always kind of sticking to the side. The other thing that comes with Illidan, let's just get him to stand properly here. He comes with these huge, and he gets two of them, these huge bladed weapons. I love the color that they went with. It's just a green, just a really solid sculpt on the blades. And on the backs, you've got the little gold accents complete with red and some black going on. Really a cool decorative detail. They're not sharp, although they are prickly. Little end pieces can be a little on the pricklier, pricklier side. But you can take them. And uh, I'm presuming, maybe I'm presuming too much, but I'm presuming that he holds them like this. And that may or may not be correct, as again, Spot has not played the game. But you can see he holds the weapons very, very easily. And his hands, his hands really don't even grasp on to the handles, as you can see. His hands basically just sit inside the crevice of the circular area of the blades. Sometimes they do a great job of holding, other times maybe not. You get something that looks like that. And again, I might even have these the wrong way. Maybe they maybe they go the opposite way. I'm trying to think of actually, let's spin them around like this. We'll, tr we'll try it the other way. And we'll just tuck the, you know what? I feel like maybe this is the better way. It would make sense accent wise for it to be facing outward. And makes more sense from holding it too because he actually gets a better grip. So scratch. The first attempt is, I would imagine, to be the correct way of holding it. I mentioned on numerous occasions, I actually even, in fact, mentioned it during the review of Nova, not necessarily even knowing the source material, because truthfully, I've never never played Heroes of the Storm, but not knowing the source material, I gotta say that the figure is still super impressive. And that's one thing that NECA does a great job of doing is getting collectors into maybe lines that they don't normally know much about, but you can just still all appreciate craftsmanship in a really solid figure. Let's go ahead and look at his face. Bring camera up. Bring the camera in, I should say. He is a blinded elf. Very long protruding ears sticking out from the top of his head. Sculpt is fantastic. I love the expression that they've given his face. Very imposing. You can tell, definitely see that he can hold his own in battle, especially when he's got these big blades with him. I also much, very appreciate the uh, 
the level of detail on the little fiery accents that he's got on his arms. It's not the same coloring as his blades, but instead it's kind of a lighter lime color, almost borderline metallic green. And then it's got a darker green outlining that. It shows well with the purple of the skin. The purple skin carries over down to the bottom of his feet or to his exposed feet at the bottom of, kind of these bell-bottom style pants. And he's got an accent on the front or on the front, on the back. Matching again, similar to the coloring of the blades, but again, just a darker green. So it's, it's interesting that it can pull off the fact that this green doesn't match this green, doesn't match this green, but everything just melds well together. And I'm loving the way he's looking with these, with these blades in his hands. They could, I can only imagine they'd be extremely heavy to hold, but he seems to pull it off. He's the betrayer after all. Hey, well, let's just go ahead and take these off of his hands. In the way of his posability, just put those right there. In the way of his posability, Illidan, or Illidan, has a ball joint in the head. I suppose theoretically he does have posability in the ponytail the exact same way as Nova did. He's got ball hinge joints in the shoulders. As you can see, very poseable there. He's got a swivel point at the bicep area of his, well, the top of his arm. He's got a hinge in the elbow. He's got a hinge and rotation in the wrist. He's got an upper torso crunch. And look at the, look at the sculpt on his torso. Very cool. He does not appear to have a swivel in the waist, but I guess most of the articulation really can come from the top of the torso that it's not really necessary having it down there. Legs are on a nice ball joint. Appears to be no swivel point at the top of the thigh, but that, that's okay. He's got a double hinged knee. And finally, a ball joint foot. As a comparison, let's move those blades out of the way. As a comparison, there is the Betrayer, Illidan. And reaching off camera to the one we've already had a look at, there is Nova. Just to show you guys, scale-wise, how they stack up with one another. Very different in contrast, very different in color, very different in build, yet they complement one another very coolly. Like, especially if you had it on a display shelf, I know I said coolly, display it on a display shelf, you can kind of feel that they, they are related to the same series, but they do bring a lot of different things to the table. And I like that. I like that they don't, they're not basically just a carbon copy of one another, just a little paint changes here and there, as the characters are, the figures also are very different from one another. We'll move Nova out of the way here. Today's Toy Spot, we were continuing our looks at the NECA Toys, Heroes of the Storm. We're looking today at the Betrayer, Illidan. Or Illidan. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spot 10 your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.